Commissioner Hogan, you met this morning here in Washington, D.C. with your counterparts from the United States and Japan. I understand that there is an agreement to strengthen existing rules on industrial subsidies and condemn forced technology transfer practices. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? Well, I'm very pleased that the European Union, the United States and Japan are able to come to an agreement in respect of our statement of intent to deal with industrial subsidies and forced technology transfer because we need a level playing field for all of our companies in order to be able to trade globally. And uh, regrettably, we don't have this particular level playing field presently. Some countries are flouting the rules and disciplines that are in the WTO process at the moment. So we have to revise our rules to take account of the fact that the WTO rules have not been changed for 25 years. Uh, and we have to adapt those rules to the, the modern uh, industrial and trading environment that we have uh, at the moment. So Ambassador Lighthizer and Minister Kajiyama from Japan and myself were very pleased to be able to advance this work and build on the progress that was made uh, by the Minister for Trade, Minister Staki, and Commissioner Malmstrom over the last number of months. Commissioner, you have a very busy schedule here in Washington, D.C. these days, and you'll be meeting with members of Congress and meet, uh, meeting with members of the U.S. administration. What is your message to the Americans? Well, I want to see the United States and the European Union resetting its relationship and to developing a positive and common trade agenda. We have an enormous amount of, of, of work to do. We agree on many things, uh, but we haven't really uh, developed a structured dialogue in relation to these issues in a positive way in the last number of years. So I hope that Ambassador Lighthizer and I uh, and other interlocutors that I will be meeting in the United States here this week will be able to agree with us that we have more in common uh, uh, than perhaps we realize and that we want to engage in cooperation and dialogue rather than in confrontation in relation to matters that are before us and in dispute at the moment. So resetting and refreshing the relationship and developing a positive agenda around trade is the objective of the visit. Great. Thank you, Commissioner.